So we're going to start with the demonstration. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I have a couple of data sets which are ready and they are in the CSV format. Uh, some of them uh, have got uh, data uh, from different sources and we're going to work uh, to bring these data together and do some analytics. So it's, it's, a, it's a simple demo but if you if you look at it from a broader point of view you will be able to visualize what's possible in our tool uh, easily effectively and without much effort so i just want to log in first to my account on uh, smarten and uh, see the moment i open up it will ask me to connect to a data source so i'm going to use a csv file so and i'm going to call it um, data source uh, and we're going to call it states GDP and rainfall and I'm also going to put today's uh, month and year so I can remove this at a later date alright so where are the files they're on my desktop so I'm going to quickly pick it up Okay, so it is GDP rainfall or population Indian states. So here I've picked it up. All right, and then I oh, go into the next section. So you can see on the left hand side there are different years than the states in India. Of what has been the rainfall in that particular year in that state, the GDP in crores of rupees, the growth in GDP, the per capita income in this state, the population, and the category of deaths there. Okay, so based on this, I'm going to click OK and it is going to ask me whether I want to make a data set. So we do want to make a data set. So RM data set states GDP rainfall. Okay, now using this, I go into the next section. So here it allows me to have a quick preview of the data and as uh, I had showed you in the earlier preview it's obviously the same data so I'm going to take it ahead now this gives me the data set which is uh, ready now as you can see that you know uh, it is automatically detected the type of uh, uh, field it was which was present in the uh, text data source so I mean like GDP in crores is a numeric field the GDP in growth is a numeric field uh, we can convert it into something else uh, you can change the display format you can you know uh, highlight some missing values or pick up inconsistent value I can try it if you want uh, so here's it I mean there is one row which says it's minus 12% at a certain point so which is likely that there was some kind of uh, adjustment in the data at that point there's another one which is Mizoram showing 25 percent growth uh, and there is Goa's 27 percent growth in 2014 uh, this is most likely due to some adjustment in the base so one choice we have is that we can uh, you know delete the row Oh, so we can just remove this row because it's rather inconsistent with the uh, other uh, data but the other ones I think we are okay so we will let them be uh, now after this is done we can basically publish this data set so this this we can do it in real time or you know we can cache it uh, we will cache it because we we are not doing this analytics on a, a very regular basis so here we go so I'm publishing this data and uh, okay so we have saved the permissions and everything successfully so now I'm going to do a new data source and I'm going to bring in some more data and this one is RM state cement sales okay so I have the cement sales of various states for different periods uh, in NCSV data now this could be anything it could be toothpaste it could be your product and uh, you could you could add multiple columns to this and you know multiple products to it 
But here we are trying to correlate between the GDP and the rainfall of a particular state and uh, the consumption of uh, cement in multi uh, millions of metric tons. And I say, okay, and uh, it's going to ask me whether I want to make a data set and I'll quickly say yes, RM states cement data set August 2018. And I say next. So here you can see that you know we have created the data set, and if we want, we can quickly check for uh, you know uh, inconsistent values. Uh, scroll down. So there is one thirty nine forty two. I think that's the values seem to be accurate. Uh, we can highlight say all rows with zeros so so this must have a new uh, decimal value so it's not been highlighted and this looks okay to me so I'm going to publish this and I say yes and then uh, there we go now so we have a, a data set uh, RM state seven data set August 2018 now uh, what we want to do is that we want to see how this connects with the uh, other data set that we created which was the GDP and which had the GDP and the rainfall in it. So I've clicked add data set and uh, it will list out all the data sets which are uh, available in this uh, particular uh, setup here and uh, we can select the data, uh, data set and bring it in. Okay, so I have conveniently put RM as the initial, so it's going to show me the data set which is RM data set GDP rainfall. Okay, so I'll select that and now we have this result set which is the RM sales cement data set and then we have the GDP and rainfall and we want to do and uh, see there are different data functions which are possible here you can aggregate the data here you can join the data here you can append the data here you can bring in another data set or you can have a look at the dimension map but at the moment what we're going to do is that we're just going to join this data together so uh, we're going to select this and as you can see that uh, the state sim data set and in the da uh, data set with the rainfall and GDP, you have these two co uh, columns which are matching 100%. Now, in some cases, you might see a little less than 100%, but I mean, if, you, if, you, if it is more or less consistent, uh, you can create the join and say, here I've applied, and uh, the join has been successful with the data set. So now, you can see here the uh, year, the state, the million metric tons, year, rainfall, everything is available. Now I've saved this and uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we can uh, do some analytics uh, on this data set that we have created. So how do we go about this? So I can say that, okay, new and I say let's do a Smarten Insight which allows uh, us to find a correlate. I mean it, it, it has a number of built-in algorithms as you can see forecasting, classification, clustering, correlation, regression, pattern mining, hypothesis testing, descriptive statistics. So at this current moment I mean what would work for us is uh, uh, you know trying to do a correlation and uh, so I select correlation and based on that uh, what we are going to do is that we're going to try and find out if there is any correlation between the sales of cement and uh, the, the sales of uh, I mean the GDP as well as the uh, uh, rainfall so give it a second I'm running a local uh, so I'll just say RM and I think the data set we used was this one and we say next. So here it is, it's got million metric tons in cement. So we're going to pick that up. 
then I'm going to pick uh, rainfall, then I'm going to pick the GDP, and I'm going to pick the population. Do you want the entire data set to be examined? I say yes, and here we go. So, so it has automatically selected that Carl Pearson correlation algorithm has been chosen for your data and uh, there is a direct connection between GDP and the million metric tons. So the higher the GDP obviously would be a bigger cons consumption of cement population and uh, million metric tons. Uh, population and GDP is connected. GDP and the rainfall is connected and population and the rainfall is connected. But what is not connected is rainfall and uh, the cement consumption. So that's an interesting perspective. So usually in our, our type of, uh, you know, in my, many businesses, they say that the more the rainfall, the more is the consumption of cement. But that doesn't seem to apply here. So uh, we can see in this graph here, this is the rainfall and this is the cement consumption on the other side. No impact is dispersed. But say, for example, instead of uh, rainfall, I pick up GDP and you see an amazing correlation uh, ha, that is rock solid. So I, I hope you get the point. Uh, this was a very small, quick demo to give you a sense. And uh, I hope to see you again with uh, some more interesting demos. Thank you.